everyone, Dale Old Nerve Guy here. Today, a small blaster that didn't make its way to Canada, but thanks to my official gun runner, Scruffy Nerfer39, thank you man, I finally have it. So here's my quick review of the Dark Zone Apex. Welcome to that. Finally have my hands on that awesome Apex. I have to say right off the bat, it is quite a little bit more chunky than I thought it was. This thing looked a little sleeker in picture, but man, it feels good in hand. Not a perfect fan of this like hexagonal looking grip, but yeah, it's cool. Uh, there's this, okay, double safety like they use in their more recent blaster. They got up up tab on every barrel. Oh, it doesn't like to, oh, okay, prefer to go that way. Is there any, oh, that's a hefty prime for a stock blaster. And, okay, that's the plunger rod. I mean, we need to have some compromise in there. And the restrictor seems to work pretty well. Uh, having myself the performance of a century in my head, I have to check that out because century was underpowered, it was something like 72 or 65. It was not perfect. Let me grab it, the included round, which are dart zone. I don't have the included round. This was not boxed. So one, two, okay, this way, three, four, and five. Okay, now all loaded. Let's try this thing. 84. Good. 89. 86. 89 again. 93. Really? This little pistol? 93? Let me try it with official rival round. I want to see what it gives with official. Because it depends on Springer, uh, Adventure Force, Dark Zone Ball are not necessarily the best. Let's try this. 90.5 90 95.1 91.8 88.5 and 88.8 huh. for one last test I want to check X round with it I really dig those X round into Springer and yeah, they fit tightly, like I was expecting. They usually quite fly very, very fast. They give me a small upgrade normally. Okay, X round, let's try this now. 93.8. 93.8. Five point six. Mm, it's going down. Five point nine and eighty-nine point eight. So with this little blaster, the best result were with the official rival round. Then it's gonna be with the included round. And mm, no, X shot, X shot round, darts all round, pretty equivalent in this one. And the official rival round give us the best result. We have an average of 89.4 with a minimum of 84.6 and a maximum of 95.1. I'm pretty sure I can crank this baby, but I'm not going to.
because it looked very efficient in that way and it's stuck I mean I haven't done anything to this nobody has still got its restrictor still got the original spring inside and it's kicking really let's go try that on the target and then we'll come back for a final word on this thing blaster almost a perfect rival sidearm I mean you can even double load it for shotgun shot and it's almost as powerful as a stock sentry with two run per cylinder this is per barrel this is like awesome and uh, only only a small little flaw I had some problem uh, while testing it if you don't push the round all the way to the bottom, the air restrictor engage right away and the, you will gonna have a misfire on it. You're gonna have to push back the round in the bottom. Other than that, same capacity as a Kronos. This is a 9095 FPS uh, pistol blaster. It is great. Like everyone should have it in their armory and dart zone. Why this thing never came to Canada? Because I couldn't help but notice that you got both English and French warning on the blaster, which means there is no reason we're not having this uh, on store shelf around here. Plus the, 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 the form factor, the five shot revolver, which I was really expecting from Nerf or Zuru first, because Zuru do a lot of very good uh, front load cylinder pistol blaster but this dart zone please bring that in the adventure force so we're gonna have it at Walmart not only at the Dollar General I think was exclusive I'm very glad to have it in my collection yes it's going with the rest of the dart zone on the wall this is a worthy blaster this is almost a perfect blaster that's it for this video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerd guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to stay notified for my latest video. This was Dave Fatag. See you next time. Bye.